In our last lesson, we learned how to use event blocks and action blocks to send a hello Eggy message to players whenever Eggy perform a grabbing action. In this lesson, we will build on sending messages by adding the effect of creating a strawberry cupcake at player 1e's location. First, under the action block that sends the hello Eggy message, let's add a creates unit block and set the unit we want to create as the strawberry cupcake. When creating the unit, we need to specify the exact location. How do we get this coordinate? By selecting this blank space, some green blocks will appear in the right sidebar. These are value blocks. What is value block? We know video games are made up of various data. Value blocks act as our helper, assisting us in retrieving the information we want from the game world. Although value blocks cannot exist on their own, they can precisely fetch various data and fill in the gaps in action blocks, turning them into specific tasks that the Eggy code system can understand. We might simply want to send a player a prompt, but the system needs to know which player to prompt, what message to send, how long the message should display, and more. In the Eggy code here, player 1, hello Eggy, 1.0, Player 1e's location are all essential pieces of information required for the system to perform an action. If we want to create a strawberry cupcake at the player's coordinates, but the player's coordinates are not fixed, we need to precisely describe the specific position. At this moment, using the gets character position feature in value blocks, Eggy code will fetch the real-time position of player 1 each time this action is performed. When filling in values, there are usually four ways to do so. Prefabs, input value, expression, and variable. Prefabs are provided by the system and can be directly retrieved. Input values are usually entered through the number keyboard by us. Expressions can utilize value blocks offered by Eggy code. Variables are selected from those we have set. Value blocks help us manage various data in the game world thereby obtaining the specific data we want to apply in our Eggy code. Let's explore some common uses of value blocks. The most common use of value blocks is to fetch data, like the position of an Eggy or a player's nickname. We just use this block and input the specified object to get the related data. We can also use value blocks for mathematical operations, like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division with int operation or float operation. Getting the trigonometric value of a number. And converting angles to radians, and vice versa. Value blocks can be used to obtain random numbers, such as with random float and random int. You just need to input the range to fetch a random number. This function can also extend to randomly obtaining a list element or a coordinate. There are value blocks used for filtering data, like greater int and smaller in, which select the greater or smaller one out of to data. Sword array can reorder elements according to its magnitudes. In writing Eggy code, we often need to use various types of data. Here's a summary of common data types to help you grasp value fetching better. Int includes positive integers, zero, and negative integers, but not decimals or fractions. For example, 2 and 59 are integers, but 2.5 and 0.04 are not. In games, scores earned by players, array index values, and lengths are all integers. Float. Float in Eggy code represents real numbers, including integers and decimals. 2, 59, 2.5, and 0.04 can all be stored as a float. In the game, common floats include the health of the Eggy and the X value of the coordinate. String can contain letters, numbers, spaces, punctuation marks, and other characters used to represent text data. In Eggy code, 
Event names and widget text content are usually strings. Position. The world coordinates in the workshop are three-dimensional points, represented by three numbers as X, Y, Z. In games, the specific location of characters or units is a coordinate. Vector 3. A quantity that has both magnitude and direction. When moving a unit, we need to precisely describe in which direction it moves and how far. For example, if we need a unit to move up, to make the system understand, it must be clearly stated as move up one unit along the y-axis, which is expressed as 0, 1, 0. In the Eggy code, the scaling of units, the linear velocity of motors, the force of gravitational fields, etc., can be considered vectors. Logic unit. Logic units refers to the mechanisms without physical form. Wind ring, portal, and melody boards are examples of logic units, as well as event trigger volumes. Creature. Referring to creatures in the unit library, these characters are non-player controlled and play the roles of NPCs. We can modify their attributes, play actions, or even endow them with AI. Eggy. Eggy represent the Eggy characters in the game, which possessed by players. We can locate Eggy on the map, see if they collide with other unit. Player. Players are the subject of game rules and the user interface. Only players can earn scores, display interfaces, and judge the game's victory or loss state. Faction. Often used in team game, representing the main body of team scores. Players using props or firearms will not harm players of the same faction. Trigger volume. Refers to volume with trigger. General trigger volume, death zone, and victory volume all belong to the game mechanics trigger volume. HP battery is also considered a type of trigger volume. However, event trigger volume and checkpoint volume are not covered for now. Array. A collection of elements of the same type. Besides lists defined by us, the system can also automatically extract some arrays, such as an array of players within a faction or all the unit included in same prefab. Trigger. Programs starting with event blocks are triggers. This includes main triggers and sub-triggers, 